back again. Today I'm going to show you how to do up a picture frame. Um, I bought it from the pound shop, I'm sure they do them in the dollar store um, if you're based in the US. Um, I'm just going to use uh, some linen fabric and do it up with some buttons. So I hope you like this tutorial and remember to give the thumbs up. Okay, so we're going to start off with this fabric. It's quite um, thick and I'm going to use the glass out of the picture frame just to draw around it to get my correct size of material that I'm going to use. So I'm literally just going to draw around it and cut it out. I've just drawn in pencil, I'm just going to cut um, cut around it, it doesn't have to be totally neat because the edges are going to be hidden because they're going to be within the frame. Okay, so we've got our uh, rectangle shape and the template that I've, I'm going to use, I'm going to use the letter A. Now I literally just went on to Word and I typed an A and uh, maximise the size of the A as big as I could and then I just printed it off in black. So now I'm just going to cut around the A template. Um, I, I think this is Times Roman font. Um, there are absolutely loads of fonts on Word or um, I don't know what any other software but there's loads of different letters that you can print off the internet so literally that's all I've done. So I'm just going to cut this out and this is going to be the template I used to form my picture. Okay, so now we've got our A. Um, you just have to make sure that it's going to fit um, within the picture frame. Um, so it needs to obviously you need to have a, a, a maybe at least a one centimeter gap all the way all the way around the outside. So now I'm literally just going to draw around this A shape um, because that is then the template that I will use to stick my buttons on. Okay, so. Now you can see I've got my A, um, it's just in pencil, I haven't done it really heavy because I'm using white buttons so I don't want any of the lines showing. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my PVA glue um, and I'm just going to start by putting a bit of the glue on um, within my A and I'm just going to put the buttons on. I'm going to do a section at a time because um, I'm using different size buttons, so I just want to make sure I arrange them um, in the right place. So, and I make sure that they're slightly over the uh, the pencil, so that um, obviously you can't see the pencil. So. I'm just going to place these where I where I would like them to on here. Okay so it's starting to take shape now um, and I'm literally just placing buttons that I feel will look nice in but trying to keep it within the A. You can use a tweezers if you find it a bit fun fiddly but I'm just going to then leave this on a windowsill to dry for a couple of hours and then I'll come back and put it in the frame. So there's the finished um, article. Um, it looks quite, quite nice. The A is very um, defined so I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is stick it onto the paper that actually comes in the picture frame. So here's the picture frame. Um, I'm going to use this piece of paper as a template and I'm going to literally just stick it right in the centre and then put the frame on. 
So for this I'm just going to use a glue gun and I'm just going to glue gun all the way around um, the outside of the actual paper image and then I'm also on the back I'm just going to glue gun where the actual buttons are on the A so literally I'm going to glue gun underneath the buttons so that it doesn't interfere with the fabric so there that, that should stay on there now 